Well, hello everyone. My name is Avanita and welcome back to another episode of Trails in Sky the Third. Today, we're going to one of the moon door. It's been a while since we've been in a moon door. This is the second moon door and it requires Sherazard to open. I don't know what to expect but I think it's going to be another fight. Just like last time where Rita goes in alone. And yeah, before we go inside, I am going to the base area and fill up Sherazard craft points. That's done. Let's go back and wish me luck. Hopefully we can beat the monster pretty quickly inside the moon door. Let's go. Oh, no fighting. Nice. I thought there would be a fight. Because Tita need to do a fight before receiving the memory fragment. Sherazard. Sherazard! Hmm? Huh? Where am I? You playing alright? Sure you haven't had too much to drink? Boy, that dream really brought back memories. Hard to believe I was once that young. <laughs> I see you've gotten yourself nice and plastered. You might want to watch what you are saying though. You're still young, but no one will believe it if you start talking like that. So she's right, Shara. I, 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 I. Wow, I thought you'd be out for a while longer, Olivier. <laughs> I will pour you another glass then. Please, mercy. You can be such a monster. Faulkner, bring Olivier another bottle of ore. Oh, rest in peace, Olivier. Ah, uh, looks like Faulkner gone and left early again. Fine. Guess I'll have to go get the bottle myself. Well, if I'm getting out of my seat, I'm getting the strongest thing in the house. I spent some brandy. Sherzard, it's literally only just gotten up. At least start him off on some fruit wine before he start bringing out the big guns. They can have pots, problem solved. Spare me. I'll die. <laughs> By the way, Aina. You remember when we first met? How much did you down again? Down? Down what? Booze? You're talking about booze, baby! Charizard began pouring alcohol into Olivier's head. <laughs> wow. That should go in his mouth, Charizard. <laughs> oh my god. You sure? Oh, silly me. Ugh. Ugh. A few years ago. Young Shira? Oh my god! It is Young Shira! Huh. Making the difference in the city this big sure isn't easy. Okay, hey, where's next? Everywhere I feel it. No way, I have to go all the way there? Ah, uh, this is why I had to see this. Hey Razors, out of the job again. Thanks again for the help. You're a lot stronger than you look, young lady. You won't have any interest in working for us, would you? You'll be more than welcome. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Really good to go too. See ya.
And that's Aina. Excuse me. Where's the city? 11 and 7. A few years passed since that 100 days war come to an end. The scars I left were slowly healing, and life was returning to liberal. People gathered in the cities and towns that had returned to their former state, and the revived or trade brought the kingdom prosperity. This was becoming normal once again. But all that was happening in the liberal at the time was so positive. However, this was also a period in which corruption was rife in the military. Many of the army's officers at the time cared for nothing but lining their own pockets or gaining power and prestige. Between the development of orbital technology and booming prosperity, much was forgotten. Hmm? Is there no one here? If you have a request, please write it on one of the forms to the right and place it in this book. Press the guild. There's a branch. It looks like it. I wonder if they mind if I use their phone. I am pup. I feel more like a slave than a presser with all this menial work getting done on me. Oh, hello. Are you here to lodge your request? Yes, that's right. Uh, might I ask your name? I'm Sergeant Harvey, a presser. I'm still a junior one, but I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry about that. Oh my, really? Huh, you look so young that I had no idea you were an actual presser. My name is Aina. It's a pleasure to meet you. So what's the request you want to make? I don't have all this time around chatting. There are only two verses at this branch right now, so we are very busy. If you can make it quick, I'll appreciate it. Oh really? I am terribly sorry. I had no idea you were... Did you not hear me? Or do you need me to explain to you what the word quick means? Oh, my apologies. Well, you see, it's my first time visiting the city. I thought it might be wise to come here and request that someone give me a tour of the main sites and such. <laughs> the size of the place is rather daunting, so I'm sure you can imagine. But with the presser who knows their favorite at my side, I'll be able to enjoy all that Grazer has to offer without fearing getting lost. You've got a beginning. This time you didn't actually come here for such a worthless request. Pardon? It's time to be misconstruing what pressers are actually here for. We are not community volunteers or whatever. We have a serious profession and do serious work. And we are also very busy, as I said earlier. So I'm going to have to ask you to look so elsewhere if you want a buddy for your such same trip. Oh, um, I... I wasn't trying to. Or hell, just go and look around on your own. Getting lost is probably part of the experience anyway. Was this one live in a box all her life? Typical rich girl. Besides, I need to focus on doing major jobs so I can get my letter of recommendation from this branch and get promoted to tenure presser. If you find something serious you need to help with, we all means come back. Until then, get going. Huh, it looks like this isn't going to work. Uh, I really am sorry for troubling you, but... Oh, who do we have here? Have you come to make a request, perchance? But us for not properly manning the front desk. That's not currently my job, but I'm undertaking other works at the same time. Oh, you didn't have to apologize. I better not mind if I worry you. Just a waste of time. Wow, Jera. She seems time to get it into her head that princess are friends for hire. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll get out of you here now. Huh, please don't leave just yet. Sure, sir. Huh? W what is it? Do what you want. Helping people in need is the fundamental mission of us prisoners. You've got no reason not to help. What? B but we're busy here. I don't have time to be playing tour guide. I've got more important things to do. Don't worry about the other requests on the board. I'll take care of those. 
But you're even busier than I am. You're even a receptionist on top of it. You need to worry about me. Besides, you're still a trainee, which means you still have much to learn. So go. Once you finish the request, I'll write you your letter of recommendation. What? Really? Are you sure? This seems like a way too simple of a job to be awarded something like that for. I thought it was your policy to give 100% to all your work you undertake. Well, it is, but... Then I'm cutting on you with this job too. Um, thank you very much. Think nothing of it. Take care, you two. Got it. I appreciate your assistance. This just hopefully do her good. What is up with today? From delivery curl to playing turquoise for some snow to silver spoon, it just gets worse. I do apologize. I really am putting you out with this request, aren't I? Let's just get started. Ah, that aloof queen of talking she has just makes me want to smash something. So, where do you want to go? Huh, let's see. I suppose I should go and buy a few things in the adult department store, just in case. Case? In case of what? It's in east block of the city. Don't forget. Why won't I? I can feel my blood pressure rising already. Oh, we can we can walk freely, haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Dorothy. She's so young. I'm glad I am in this moon door. I can see some NPC in their younger self. Like Dorothy for example. That is fully parents. How did they just freaking drop the information on an NPC just like that? That is the important information there, and the developer just decided to drop it in an NPC dialogue. Are you serious? So, that was a surprise. Let's just get inside the store. I like how the very first thing she wants to do is blow all her money. So, what are you planning to buy? Well... You could probably do with restocking on recovery items for one thing. What? Please, Alias. I just want this job to end. Hmm? Hasn't Kurt read this book? Did they bring it there? A lot of this look really complicated too. Who are those shady men? Mr. Zart! What? You know, there's actually a really famous ice cream stall near here. Have you ever been there? Why would I have? I feel like sweat things. Well, I do. And I feel like having some ice cream right now. Let's go get some. Well, wait a second. Who are these guys? Oh, it's you. Ugh, I've all the time to run out of, of photo cards. I guess I have to get this devil what first. This one script needs to be finished by two or I'm never gonna be done in time. Huh? What's up with him? Is this how they met? Hey there. What are you doing? 
The girl first of all took the camera from the man, exposing the photo cards inside. Ah! What the hell do you think you're doing? Those are useless and flight shines directly on them! Huh? Really? Yes, really! Let's shut the cover now! Damn! That gave me scare! Do you have any idea how much a set of photo cards cost? I know. It looks just like the dog that lives near me, bruh. What are you doing with that thing? Don't you dare damage it. I not mine. That's the editor in chief. Really expensive price of the herbal camera. How do you use it? Oh, it moved. Oh my god. Stop! What a great story. G give that back! If that gets broken, there's no way I can replace it with my joke of a bitch. And break it, honestly. Wow, oh, you can see things that are really far away so well. So stop! Goodness gracious. Hello there. I want to buy an ice cream. I know about two ice creams comes from the stall. Did you bring this to selectively switch off when I said I don't like sweet things? You like this, promise. It's really nice. That's not how it works. It's almost noon. That means I've only got 24 hours left. I'm running out of time. Why? Why are you running out of time? It might be a bit risky, but... Hey! What? What are you stressing out and ignoring me for? I was trying to ask you something. Sorry. Who knows it? You look angry. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? It's really obvious. So come on, not with it. Why are you involved in something you can't even talk to me about? Well, it's just that... I realized I have something back at the hotel. Ah. Uh, as if anyone would buy that. Not going to talk, huh? Well, fine. Be that way. Can we make our way back there so I can go and get it? Fine, whatever. I'll come with you. At least until I'll get an idea of what you are really up to. Thank you. Well, shall we be going? Let's go through the south block. Fine. Oh, that's still okay. Damn it! Did I just give me that camera back already? It's not a toy, you know? Uh -huh. I never knew you had this many different expressions. It's like saying into a whole new world. Let's try and go for that sexy dandy look now, okay? What is this girl even talking about? Ah, excuse me, sir. I finished developing the photo course now. Oh, right. Thanks for that. Sorry for rushing you. Holy cow! <laughs> Yay! There's no evidence that's happening. I can't believe this kid can make such phenomenal pictures. Um, I need payment for developing the scores and for the photo course you bought. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, that'll be 1050 Mira for 7 sets. What? Well, there goes your wallet. Hey, were you the one who took this? Huh? Man, why am I even asking? There's no way she could have. You must have just gotten mixed up and somehow by accident. It's just a photo of your average tree, and yet, the powerfully rising trunk and see through leaves with their vines spreading forcefully through them. Every one of them is visible with amazing clarity. I've never seen anything like this. Th this is a work of a pro. There's no way any amateur could take something like this. Doesn't it look tasty? What? 
that tree. It has soft mean, you know? Cameras are really interesting things, right? It's like looking into a kaleidoscope. You can see lots of things just going around and around. I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. How can she take a good picture without persist like that? The order is amazing. Oh. Huh. Yes, you're right. Yes, I'm in contact with Lokrun too. Ah, sure, sir. You can make the perfect time. I did? It's your sure, sir. Yes, I'll put her on. It's gorgeous. Uh, um, hello. Hello, Shira. How are you doing? I hear you're working hard over there in Grenzel. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Um, are you still enrolling? I'm actually going to become a si- Actually? No. I've ended up coming to Calford, I'm afraid. I don't be able to return to Libero for some time either. I've left everything in her hands for the other veterans' princess for the time being. So I think she'll be fine without me, but... Sure, are you still there? Y yes Sorry, I'm still here. If you spend too long away on work, the assault's going to be really mad at you. I'll probably try and get that job prop up as soon as possible. Unless you want to waste her rod. Yeah, and Hell had no fury like an angry cell. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to ask of you. Really? O of me? Next time you swing by rolling, you might be for a little surprise. But well, I'm guessing I'm going to be away for a while, angrier or no. So if you could look after things at home, it'll help. Huh, sure. Oops, I think I'm about out of time. Could you put court on the line again for me? Oh, okay. Bye. Yes. Yes. Leave everything to me. I'll have to jump off up within the next few days. Oh, and as far for the documents I send you. What's wrong, Shira? Okay. Let's get this job out of the way. The shares are. Who was that you were talking to? Mind your own business. We are going to the hotel. You did want to go there, right? Y yes, I do. Wait a second. Isn't this the hotel? The building you've just walked right past? Well, yes, but... Because the castle looks really heavily guarded. I should have known. Huh, there's gotta be some way to get past. Where are you going to the castle? That way leads to the Crystal Castle. Do you want to go in and have a look around it? Y yes, I suppose I do. But, um, looks like I've almost cracked her. Time to talk, young lady. I want to know exactly what I've been dragged all over the city for. God, this job is such a pain. I'm gonna go and catch a predator outside. There she is! What? What's going on? You stay right where you are! Excuse me? Yes, I know. Who are you guys? Explain, please. Oops. What? Aina, please stop missing. Huh. Huh. What the? That guy was no amateur. Well, they haven't noticed anything has happened just yet, by the looks of it. It's only going to be a matter of time, though. I need to do something. Look, you. It's time for you to start talking. Who is this guy? 
I don't want the Arbiter to test anything on me either. Are you listening to me? Shh! Please be quiet. Well, at least now we know she's not in the hotel's guest list. Another one? Well, I figured a rich girl like her would have to stay at the hotel, but I guess not. We're just gonna have to start scoring the city. From top to bottom? Don't you get her? No, don't shout! Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, it came from over there. There she is. She's our target. The Blondie. Get her. What's going on? You've got some serious explaining to do, Mitzi. Well, um, uh, let's start running. The hell? Oh, wait. This is such a chaos. We are going to get surrounded. The airport now. It's gonna get a dead end. And they'll stay there, haha. I think we lost them. Ah, ah, just, just about. Uh, okay, I've had enough of this. It's time for you to open that mod of yours. Just who are those guys? Why do they want to catch you? What do you even want? Well... Don't even try and warm your way out of answering. I will hurt you. With this? That sounds painful. No use hiding it in any longer, is there? They're trying to capture me. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm asking why they want to capture you. Get on, get talking. Let me start from the beginning. As soon as I started about a month ago, my grandfather, who I was living with, passed away. Your grandfather? That's right. He did mention that he intended to leave some of his fortune to me. But the will didn't just say some. He wrote that he intended to leave everything he had. So, well, super rich guy leaving his fortune to a young girl. Okay, everything started to fall into place. So now every relative you have under the sun is on you like ants trying to get their share. At the very least, I still think my uncle is a very nice man. He said he wants to look after me until I turn 20, so as part of that, you should let him look after all the money you've, you've inherited. Ah, unbelievable. Maybe. His eyes when he said that kind of scared me, so I ended up running his overtown. Wait, hi! And now someone's hired those men to come after me. If I don't formally inherit this money, grandfather's spells becomes invalid, you see. Most likely, that's the reason they want to capture me. I'm not able to do that. They are not really in a straight talks either. They clearly have some experience under their belts. I can't believe they are just able to avoid the stress of the capital in broad daylight like this. Just what is the army even doing? One of my relatives has connection in the Royal Army, so that's probably why. My family's pretty influential, actually. Ah, I'm getting a headache just listening to all of this. Hiding a bunch of suspicious, highly trained underlings to fight over an inheritance. We didn't get more stereotypically spiteful rich person than that. I... I'm sorry. I'm not looking for an apology from you. Still. This really isn't looking good. I might have been able to win last battle, but I'm not confident I could win another. I 
think the best thing we can do is try and get back to the guild house without getting caught. But I can't say that thing easy. Phew! Come to think of it, I forgot to fit the birds. Fit the birds? But if it's meant to be taken literally, it's probably some kind of code they use. Which means... Crap! Sorry, this was a dead end. You've been giving us a hell lot of trouble, but your luck just run up. Ah! Huh, you're fast though. I'll give you that. Now grab her! Ah, fine, another fight. Let's do it. Stay out of the way, Aina. Yes, just keep focusing on Sherizard, please. Oh, you finally hit! Oh, we're getting low. Well, well, not half bad. Huh. Huh. I don't think I can find my way out of this. Are you alright, Monsieur Zart? Have you guys still not caught her? Well, well. You almost stand a chance against us. Almost. Huh. Huh. I don't want to be beaten by a bunch of low-life scums like this, guys. Do you have any ideas for getting us out of this? Me? Oh. There's an entrance to the sewers nearby. If we can get to that, we might have to escape to the west block. That's a huge if though. Alright, let's go with that. Close your eyes for a second. What are you? One. Two. Oh, what are you? Three. Plus bang. What's that? A smoke grenade. My eyes. Yeah, punch it one by one. Ready to go? What? Ah, uh, what is this smell? Is this mustard gas? Wait up! <laughs> Don't let them get away. Why do you even have that thing? You have the key, Sherzard. It's locked. Get out of the way. Come on, hurry. Wait, get back here, damn it. No use, it's locked. Out of the way, I'll get another one. Should I use another of those canister? I've got a pepper one too. But pepper? Do you make these things yourself? I've got a few original plants on my own. Yes, they were originally just white smoke grenades. For example, there's this one. You could just use it so we can run to the guild, you know? It contains powdered laughing mushrooms. Never tried it though. You think it works? Y you don't need to find out now. We might get blown back in here. Ah, uh, it wouldn't budge. Someone bring an axe. We're gonna have to smash it open. That damn bitch. Ew. It looks like we've brought to ourselves sometimes. What are we thinking? What kind of insane manic just used a smoke grenade or mustard gas canister or whatever it was? You shouldn't even be making that kind of stuff. I thought you were a high class lady. Surely. But it helped us to get to safety, didn't it? 
Well, yeah, but still. How did you even learn to make those things? Huh, <laughs> my grandfather loved collecting books. He had his own personal library in the mansion. I learned all kinds of useful things from there. I take it you're not much of a book enthusiast yourself, so you probably won't have read any of the things I have. But that's a famous spy novel I remember reading, and it has a scene in it where the protagonist makes their own smoke grenade. She learned it from a book? I take it back. Miss Rich just read it all of her naive face. Look, let me make this very clear for your own good. You might have gotten us out of a dangerous situation earlier, but you got lucky. Don't expect that to happen a second time. Don't go getting cocky just because you pick up some madly useful knowledge from a book that may or may not have even more. I don't want to see you doing anything like that ever again. Are we clear? Y yes, of course. That's all. Let's get going. Ah, the insurance like this always brings back unpleasant memories. Uh, um, it was like my instincts are coming right back though. Why did she decide to go silent? Did I say something to annoy her? Let's move. When they come back, they get that door open in no time. But be careful, and stay close to me. There are bound to be monsters here. R right. Damn, we are having no break, are we? Well, the good thing is that Charizard received her health again. Ah, uh, no. Those guys, I need to be careful. Ah, uh, let's just fight once. Alright. Airborne. So tell me, how effective was that expired medicine? Airborne. I'm empty now, but when I was younger, the Avengers couldn't keep their hands off me. I just learned how to study sweep after defeating a lot of monsters. I need to be careful because we cannot see the monster from distance. Just like that. Oh. I don't see that monster. Wow, there's a lot of them. Let's clear it out. Bam! We really get a lot of PXP from here. Then we get the chest. Serum powder, nice. Awesome! That's chest bomb! Let's take care of you now. I get the hang of it. They are pretty easy to kill. Ah, oh, almost, almost settled up. Come on, we can do it. One more monster. Oh. I'm guessing we'll need to find some way through this door to get to the west block. There should be some way to open it nearby. Let's start looking and stay close to me. Oh my, that's kind of romantic, don't you think? In what way is anything in this situation romantic? Let's pull the lever. What? One move? Is it not touching? Huh. Stay quiet for a minute. I'll handle this. Shards that remove a rock from the bottom of the device and place her hand inside. Wow! Uh -huh. You really are amazing! But not for this. This isn't all that different from breaking into a safe, to be honest. Really though, you shouldn't be impressed by these kind of things, or getting used to them. Why? There are some things in life you're just better off not knowing. And some things you're better off not being able to do. The entire town smelled like a rotting open drain and was reviled even for a slum. 
The people who ended up there were largely those who could be accommodated in prison, those who had been driven out of the cities, or children who had been abandoned there like yesterday's garbage. Oh, this is your resort. I did whatever I had to do in order to survive and to live to see another day. Picking pockets at every opportunity was a habit I picked up from a very young age. Anything that I caught my eye, I took. But even then, I didn't end up with enough to live on. There were always men there who made their living by taking from people like me. The surest way to make money was staring from the surface of the rich when they were out of their mansion. The residential area full of wealthy people on the other side of the river, accessible through an undercover saber, was a perfect target for this. Every time I felt hungry, I sneak inside one of the mansions and made use of the skills I felt like I'll know since the day I was born. The most important thing to remember when doing this was not to take everything in one go. Instead, a small amount each time, enough to get by, but not enough for the mansion's owner to notice anything was gone. With a simple piece of wire, I had access to enough mirror to live for a couple more weeks. Before I knew it, I was doing it every day, building up a stockpile of money instead of simply taking what I need in the short term. And boy, I paid the price for it. I had it all taken from me by the men of the slums and ended up being kicked and stomped on until I cut up blood. Everyone did what they did, or they said as they did as much anyway, so that they could keep living on. I was pretending to be this word as an excuse laid by any means, but I was taking the easiest route they could find. The town I live in was a devoid of energy, but full of filthy humans like them, and like me. Again and again, I thought about giving it up. Again and again, I said to myself that I wanted to stop, but I couldn't do it. I hated myself for what I was doing. I hated the fact that I couldn't stop. It was because I didn't want to return to that life that I ended up becoming a prisoner. Because if I didn't, I was scared I would end up right back where I was. The truth had saved me from that place and had me into a respectable human being. But when I lost them, I was afraid. One thought stood out above all the rest. No matter how much I tried to forget, no matter how used I become to my new life, no matter how much I tried to deny it, I was yesterday garbage from the slums. And nothing I could do will change that. And that's it, really. One day, I'm sure I'll end up returning there. That's why I need to be strong. To stay strong. Whatever I do doesn't even matter. Anything I can pour my heart into that will let me live an honest life is fine. Anything that keeps my mind off the past. Anything that lets me keep the ugliness in my heart at bay. If it makes me strong without relying on others, then it's fine. It's fine. I need to be strong. Stronger than anyone. Stronger than anyone. But am I? Am I really doing alright in my new life? Am I really getting stronger? Am I? Lucy. Miss Charizard. Are you alright? You are looking very gloomy all of a sudden. It's nothing. I'm fine. As soon as I finish this job, court will give me the last recommendation I need. I can finally become a real presser. Then no one will be able to tell me I'm not strong. I won't let them. I will be strong. Anyway, we are leaving. W wait a second. Miss Charizard! There is one place that I haven't checked yet. I will go back there. As soon as I finish this job, This is just in there. Terrible. So I heard you like chess. You poor rot. Terrible. You take joy in making out others inside. I don't think I miss anything, right? Alright, let's just go. Terrible. If you want it that badly, you go for us. Hairball. Sorry, but the legendary item drop is in another chest.
Yes, it's locked. I know it is. Just shut up. You'll break my concentration. Oh, my bad. Charlotte took out a wire and inserted it into the keyhole. Phew, we are finally back on the surface. It's evading too. That took longer than I thought it would. We should hurry. Of course. Are you alright though? What? You look kind of pale. Are you feeling tired? Maybe you should rest a little before moving on. I I'm fine. I've had enough training to handle this level of physical activity, thank you very much. Don't underestimate a stamina of a presser. I suppose you are right. I'm sorry. Wait, what the hell? She was never more than a few steps behind me at any given moment. How is she still fine? She never seemed out of breath even when we were being chased by those guys, come to think of it. I feel like there were a few times when she was even ahead of me. What is up with this girl? Is this, like, nothing to her? Are you absolutely sure you don't need to rest? I do have a few snacks on me. Would you like me to share some? It's okay. I am definitely fine. Right now, we need to focus on getting into the guild so we can hide out there. What breaks can wait? We might run into a lot of trouble on the way, but the request was to show her around the capital. I've done that. Now all I need to do is to get back to the guild. And this request is done. I win. Come on, get a move on. I still feel like it would be a good idea to rest at least a little, though. Are you certain you are alright? How many times do I need to repeat myself before you get the message? The hell with it all. Hi! I was up all night working that damn story. All night! Who the hell does not she think she is? The better the good, the harder it needs to get me caught. Does she think I don't know that? Ah! What do you think he's talking about? I've got no more idea than you do. Maybe he's using some kind of code like the spence from earlier. Really? We just met him near the store. It could be one of them, could he? D do you think he could be? Damn it all! I can be sure. Just look at his size though. It doesn't look like a man who makes a honest living to me, bruh. I see what you mean, bruh. We've gone this far. There's no way I'm letting us get caught now. We need to proceed carefully and, and deliberately. Let's see if I can find another route. Ah, if I remember correctly, that house over there is empty. This way, follow me. For all your sake, it was really fast. I couldn't read it. 